Hello and welcome to TBO. Is that your intro? Is that actually your intro? I guess. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do that as the intro. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to TBO. On today's episode, we're doing Wednesday. We're yes. filming it on a Friday, though. We are. We are. We... Weeks after it came out as well, because I hadn't watched it until two days ago. It's still before... Black actually, no, I finished it yesterday, so... <laughs> I started watching it two days ago. Yes, this is Netflix adaptation of The Addams Family, and this time they decided to focus on Wednesday. And this is done, actually, it's a bit older, in the teenage years, six, entering a 16th birthday. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to come right out and say I have never watched anything Addams Family related. So have you not? This is all new to me. <laughs> I didn't know anything about any of these characters. I've seen the characters like designs, I saw the like concepts of things. I just have never had any interest in the Adams family. The only reason I decided to watch this show was because of the main character, Jenna Ortega. Yes, like and the main actress. Well, let's get into the discussion straight away. Um, let's start off with her because I think she makes this show. Yeah, I, I think she's very good. I think she sells what I know of the character very well. I'm sure some people will disagree, but hey, look, uh, from what I know, she's meant to just be emotionless, but then gross emotions, I guess, or like somewhat emotions i don't know but I've, i thought she was very good i found her intriguing i liked watching her do her stuff i thought the dance thing was kind of fun yeah I I everyone hate dances. everyone loves it everyone loves that dance scene even if you hate dance sequences everyone loves it just because of the way she does it do you know she came up yeah. with that choreography as well yeah, cool yeah i was really expecting the monster mash music though <laughs> the dark and stuff like did she did the mesh like i was really expecting that to be the music because it sounds very similar but like i was expecting that yeah but yeah that i was sad that that wasn't um yeah by the way full spoilers ahead yeah full spoilers fuck, fuck so... doing non-spoilers spoilers <laughs> i when... know people like it because yeah so, so tim burton uh, obviously chose jenna ortega as the main role right mm-hmm and she actually seems like Wednesday in real life. Have you, have you seen any of her interviews outside of this? Nope. I haven't seen anything. I just went, she looks cut. She's been in things that I have had an interest in trying to watch, but never got around to watching. So I'll give it a go. And this will be the first thing I watch with her in it. Do you also notice how she never blinks? I didn't notice that. Yeah, she, she never blinks in the in the show. Who did the original Adam's family? Was it Tim Burton? Oh, also, no, no, it wasn't. Do you know, I can't remember her name. The plant teacher lady, the one with red Christina hair. Christina Ritchie. Yeah, do you know she was the original Adam's Family Wednesday? Yes, I knew that. Okay, you, knew, you said you knew nothing. You said you knew nothing. Well, no, because I, I... Look, I follow a lot of news outlets and stuff for this fucking show. Well, for our other fucking show. And I, I'm i very up to date with most pop culture things. I like no stuff, but I don't follow that stuff. Like horror or like the dark, gritty, like family stuff. I don't Or like comedy stuff. I don't follow... I knew of Christina Ricci because everyone's like, she's really good in the role. And I'm sure she was. And also, every fucking news article is like, oh, Christina Ricci's back in it Wednesday. Yeah. And I was yeah. just like, okay, <laughs> cool. So yeah, I'm obviously aware of who she is. Um, I didn't know Catherine Zeta-Jones was in it, as we discovered, as I looked up the cast list <laughs> today. I was like, why does she look familiar? And then I was like, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, a lot of people... I've always heard of Catherine Zeta-Jones, but I never, I don't think I've ever seen her face. A lot of people weren't happy with the Gomez casting. Oh, what Gomez Adam? Yeah, people weren't happy with that casting because they wanted. I he was good. Well, no, they wanted him to be an attractive male. That's, that's what they wanted. Oh. Like a like the typical. Well, Is I think it worked be a lot better that way. I have no idea who was meant to be attractive, so I don't really care. I well, I don't. Uh, but it does, I think people just wanted it to be that because people's social standards nowadays. Oh, I will say the show is very woke, <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. But you can clearly tell where they've gone. Let's hit a quota. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't notice it, and I'm usually pretty good at that stuff. So if they did it, then they did it the good way. Oh yeah, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just noticed the slight little things where they were like, "We've got a quota to tick off the boxes, and we're going to do these characters and this sort of plot line, and we're going to yeah. be inclusive." Also, they promote bestiality because uh, <laughs> werewolves. <laughs> That's and a also, enough. another thing. Look, not knowing anything about the characters, and which ones are like mainstream like constants if the enid girl is like a constant she's very good that actress apparently she's not in the cast list on google so that's fun yeah i think the dynamic between i think her name's emma 
MMIs in real life? Well, we'll Google that. I, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, it is. So Emma and Jenna, they apparently outside of this, they have a very good chemistry and they're very good friends. Yeah, and they seem to really bounce off each other quite well. I, I, I at first I found Enid a bit annoying. Oh yeah, but she's meant to be. She's yeah, that too it's cheerful literally... for life. But she's not like she's never always positive, which is I like. Yeah, there's yeah. always that like she's either scared or like she's like annoyed or like she's not just always cheerful, always pompous, like constantly grinding your with positivity. She actually has moments of like so does um Wednesday, like the characters of dimensional. Yeah, yeah, it's like, not just one flat beat. Also, another thing I liked about the Wednesday character, even though that Wednesday thinks that she knows everything, and then she's doing her detective work, and we'll get into the plot later, she de- she gets things wrong. Like, yeah. she's still human. Oh, she fucks up massively. Yeah, and there's, ma- there's actually consequences for what she does, which puts yeah. a lot more weight on the character and her actions, which I think is very good. Yeah. Um... In terms of other characters, though, as we're talking about them, uh, I think the two love uh, interests need a bit needed a bit of work. Uh, I 100% called it as soon as I saw the monster, and it was Bug Eyes, and then <laughs> it was the Bug Eyed guy, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, the C- character. Also, the CGI for that monster wasn't it, man. <laughs> it was not good. No. I thought it was fine for what they had, but. Yeah. I think you can have a good show with bad CGI, it's fine. But it is what it is, but they could have done a better job. Yeah. I'm sure there's a better design for that character. Hmm. But I like the fact that they have big bug eyes, and then it was like, which character's got really buggy eyes? Well, it's the guy with yeah. really buggy eyes. It's pretty obvious. I, I think I was trying to trick my trick myself into thinking, oh, maybe, maybe it is the other guy. But I was like, no, no, it isn't. It was never good <laughs> because like, they pushed it too hard. Yeah, they did. They pushed it too hard that it was him because he was always doing weird things, which kind of never get explained. Yeah. So yeah, was well, so characters, just by of... the way, are Xavier and Tyler. For one of reference yeah. So it's Tyler yeah. is the hide. Bug eyes. You call yeah. bug eyes. And Xavier no, is the other love interest who just I like whines. Tyler. Yeah. D- yeah. Don't get me wrong. I liked Tyler. Like, I thought he was cool. But I was like, yeah, most likely it's him. But I was kind of like, I was like, once they revealed that it was a hide and that it is controlled by whoever, like, looks after the hide or whatever the fuck it was, so that got a bit convoluted. Um,. I was like, oh, maybe he had already liked her. And then, what's her face? Spoiler, Christina Ritchie. Because also, as soon as they revealed a blonde, I was like, it's not going to be any of the blondes. It will be the person with the obvious wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious redheaded wig who's like a normal person. Yeah. I was like, hmm, which person's going to become bad as soon as they revealed that plot point <laughs> that there was a blonde girl who died mysteriously? I was like, which character is a woman? Uh, which one is not blonde, because they'll obviously try and set up the blonde characters uh, to be the one. But yeah, um, I no, know. I thought that I've... Uh, yeah, I talk, keep, as we keep talking about characters as well. We've got the sheriff as well, who just seems to be grumpy. He's the dad of Ty- Yeah, um, I felt his character was kind of all over the place because it was like, oh yeah, he's like really against them, and then he's just like, ah oh, yeah, fuck it, whatever, you're gonna kiss in a shed or whatever it was yeah in a, a crypt, crypt. Wasn't it? yeah and typical like, wednesday ah, no i don't see anything here and then he's just like well you're against it and then it's just like oh come on dude like i get that you're trying to hide i guess the hide i I think he kind of kind of knew tyler was the hide but didn't i don't know did he know because he was so determined that's to find what his I was, character. yeah that's why I, yeah that's why i didn't understand i didn't know if he actually knew or didn't know but but then again the mum was so undeveloped that it was just like oh we'll throw in a mum character that's suddenly a hide and then the mum dies or gets taken away i guess maybe and then i guess the dad did know because he refused to talk to his son about it and his son i guess i don't know that always that I feel like it kind of got handled a bit messily. That, like, I feel like the end, like it was. Oh, the, like, yeah, but we're, we're getting to the ending later on once again. That is that. Let me talk about that. Yeah, it gets messy towards the end. I think it starts strong. I think it gets a bit messy, but it ultimately ends somewhat satisfactory. <laughs> Certain character just dies off like in like an instant, and it's just like really sudden and really weird, and it's just like, oh, okay, wasn't expecting them to just die all of a sudden. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah and then. Other characters as well. We uh, mentioned the Adams family. We've got Thing. We've got, we've yep. got to mention Thing. Loved Thing. Thing's yeah, fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Can't go wrong with Thing. Thing, yeah. <laughs> I 
I, I loved all the jokes as well with him loving manicures and oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just hand lotion. It's brilliant. I thought his um potential death was uh emotional. It was uh, Uncle Fester as as well. Trying to I didn't like him. that. You didn't like Un- Uncle Fester? Is it because he just came in randomly? Yeah, it's just oh I'm here. I help solve the case and then fuck off. Yeah, thing is, at the same time, I do I do I hate that we're storytelling. But I'm happy to see Uncle Fester because that's just a character from the Adams family. That's a I had big no part idea of who it. that was, and I was just like, okay, cool. You're there. <laughs> You're now gone. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I think that that is literally just a nostalgia sort of thing. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't mind it. I just thought it was weird that it's just like, oh, this random guy comes up. I thought he was fine. That's also like the, I think the second t- the the only time that Wednesday properly smiles in the show, which yeah. he sees Uncle Fester. Yeah. Uh, other characters we had the rival Bianca. Yes. Who then becomes friends because every character, for some odd reason, despite hating each other, becomes friends. It's just yeah, like, it's a bit oh, weird. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, it's just like, now. for some fucking reason, Xavier just keeps trying to be friends with Wednesday or like love interest of Wednesday. Yeah, it's so weird. And like, even like Tyler is like, oh, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. Why are you still pursuing? I guess Forbidden Fruit or like. Well, no, I think Tyler um, is because he was commanded to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and you can argue whatever for him. That one makes sense. Yeah, his one makes sense. If Xavier you think is just like a psycho. Yeah, Xavier is like, <laughs> like he's like one minute really mad, and then he's like, I want to forget her, and then it's like, oh no, I want to be friends with you again. It's like he's got bipolar, man. He's got Kanye syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> He'll start shouting out Nazi like propaganda at this point. I'm hoping he gets a bit more development in season two. Yeah, I don't think his act, like the character actor, is like the guy acting, uh, Percy Hines White. Oh, and I think, yeah, he, he he's fine. It's he's just... doing good with what he's got, but like, he just turns up in scenes, does some de- exposition or acts suspicious, and then fucks off, and then comes back the next scene and just kind of and it's just has the a constant thing. whining. Yeah, it's not he's great. just kind of like, oh yeah, cool. Um, Eugene's great. Yeah, <laughs> the B guy. The, the B guy. I love that he just comes in at the end and just has a swarm of bees. Yeah, he's like, oh, that makes no... sense. He can just control bees. Yeah, like, it makes sense why he'd be a beekeeper if he yeah. could just control them. Yeah, but I find that it's... Just, just, um, I don't remember the character's name, but Christina Ritchie's character die, or does she just get taken to prison? Because I know Tyler doesn't die, because no, he gets Tyler... dragged away in the cop car and then hides out. I don't think Christina Ritchie's character dies. No. I, I doubt What's it. What's his face? The weird fucking guy does die because he just gets stabbed and then just obliterated. Oh, yeah. I found that... I found the pilgrimage stuff kind of shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that design of that character is let's, really Let's go shit. on to that. Let, let, let's go on to the plot of the show because the plot is probably... Convoluted. <laughs> the weakest part of the show. Yeah. It's all the characters interacting I like. Much. Yeah. The characters interacting, the plot line to get the characters to where they need to be to discuss plot points is weak. <laughs> yeah, it's so strange. So I, I thought I the initial mystery was interesting, but like ultimately, it, its conclusion falls apart. <laughs> yeah, so it say? starts off at back in the Pilgrim days of uh, is it town of Jacob J- Jericho? Is it or oh. Uh, fuck knows some place. <laughs> I feel like it's Jericho. I'll find out whilst you continue. Talking. Anyway, yeah. So back back then, we got the head pilgrim. I don't remember his name either. We are awful at preparing for these things. Joseph Crackstone. That's it. Joseph Crackstone. He's trying to get rid of outcasts, and he wants to basically make the world pure, which makes yes. sense. But then, and Wednesday's ancestor, who looks exactly like Wednesday but with blonde hair. Yeah. Uh, well, good. I'm Adams. pretty sure that is. Yeah. It is her. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm 100%, unless they ha- she has a secret twin, I'm pretty sure it's her. <laughs> yeah. Like, it could be someone who looks like really like her, but that would be really weird, I guess. Uh, where- Jericho Vermont. It is Jericho. Yeah. Chris Jericho. Uh, yeah, so we, he's planning on, yeah, killing all the outcasts. And then Goody Adams escape. She gets captured, then escapes, and then she creates a cult of people called the Nightshades who are designed to stop people like Joseph Crackstone. She went From then... rising up, I guess. Yeah, so she, she then kills Joseph Crackstone, buries him in a crypt, seals him in a tomb. and then seals it with a blood lock of her own blood. So only yep. someone of her relative can release Unlock it. Unlock it. I've just got... All, a... in a, all written down in a book, by the way. 
uh, yeah, all the way down in this book somehow. And I realized something that I don't think many other people re- realize is Wednesday Adams has the visions and it's Morticia who has the vid- vi- visions, but Morticia isn't the ascend- descendant of Goody Adams because she's not an Adams. Who's Morticia? The mother. Oh no, the mother has different visions. No, but she still has the visions and she got the... But... No, but no, 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 she doesn't have visions of it. But no, she, no, she, she has... she's the dove. She has like good visions. Yeah. But it, she actually still has the visions. But why does she but have her... the visions if... She's not the descendant of Goody Adams. No, because it's just that you can have different people who have the. So does that mean that? But she just because like a vision. I guess she doesn't get like I guess she could get specific ones, and she can do all of the. Because I think the mum said the dove is less powerful than the raven. It is, yeah, because it only. So I guess the dove just gets like glimpses into the future or whatever, and then the raven can get all of the transcendent shit where you can actually go into the past and view shit and get a more clear idea. It's a little unclear, but, like, ultimately, I think it doesn't detract. I think it just kind of muddy... Like, I feel like the consistency of those visions is kind of weird. Yeah. I do like the moment where Finn goes, why don't you just touch stuff? And she's just going around touching things, and then she walks away and just goes, flops on the floor. Yeah. And like, yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, ultimately uh, the plot, uh, and then it results in yeah. So the, the, then they, so, so then somehow the dad kills a guy. Well, the mum kills the guy because the dad's framed. But then they get yeah, to so get dad. What's out. the guy's name? It's called um Gomez. No, Gomez is oh, the, the other thought, guy. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, fuck knows. Other hey hey hi nope no hey no hi uh. The Gates. Oh, is it um Jared Gates? Gates, Jared Gates, yeah. Who's the descendant of Yeah, so Joseph Crackstone. Jared Gates then decides is commanded by his family as a descendant of Joseph Crackstone to rid outcast by putting Nightshade in the punch bowl, but then gets killed by Morticia because he gets stabbed and then Oh no, he gets flung against the because wall and he gets doesn't Nightshade Morticia, and dies. Doesn't the mum think that he's in love with him and it's like a jilted ex or whatever yeah yeah that's what she thinks but he's not he was just there to kill everyone yeah and then that death causes the whole family to kill themselves and kill causes the laurel gates to supposedly kill herself or drown and then it's turned out later that also all of this is being covered up by people no all of the murders and stuff that are happening are being covered up by and then laurel gates goes back to uh Nevermore. So she becomes a teacher just to find eventually Wednesday Adams will come to the school. Yeah, so I don't get how that gets set up. So that just gets lucky. She's just like, oh, there's Adams finally. She then finds a hide, commands the hide to control and law Wednesday. Fall in love with <laughs> in love it, it. <laughs> to get to Wednesday distract her at so the crypt she... and then use the hide to get body parts to resurrect awesome. Joseph Crackstone. Because Which somehow Kelly Adams would know that was going to happen. Yeah. Also, can I just point out? I like that she cuts her hand and puts it on the thing, even though her head is bleeding. So she could have done more pain and just shoved her head. And that would have been that's... better. It would have been much yeah, more would... gruesome. Yeah. Much, much more mean. But then you guess I guess you have to stab her again. Also, somehow the ghost can heal. Yeah. But you'll never see the ghost again. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Wait, 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 come on to that a second. But then, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she resurrects Joseph Crackstone. And then Joseph Crackson comes back alive, and he's now outcast himself, but somehow has now has a magic staff. Magic. That Which no one I... explains. He just now yeah, has. I imagine magic is different from natural ability of magical stuff. I don't. I don't. It's not I, I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like man-made creation of magic is because le- like potions and stuff, she's fine with. So yeah, and like then alchem- when's... I guess it's alchemy. Or you can always just explain it by alchemy because it's like natural. <laughs> Maybe. Natural magic rather than whatever. Yeah. And then, so he now, <clears throat> Wednesday goes to try, to try to kill him or something, and then he gets a knife yeah. and then stab, stabs her and twists the knife. And then she's yeah. there dying on the floor. And then somehow her mother's necklace some, summons Goody Adams to come and resurrect her, but it can only happen once. Because the ghost will disappear and be infused with yes. you. Yes. And it just. It and let's okay. The writers backed themselves into a corner and had no idea what they're doing. Yeah, I think Joseph Crackstone shouldn't have come back. <laughs> yeah, that that's the biggest problem here. Why did you bring Joseph Crackstone back? Also, he doesn't life? give a shit about Christina Ritchie, which I loved. It was just like you go fuck off, and then she comes back randomly with a gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was just like, okay, cool. 
And then he somehow has telekinesis abilities as well. He can like control arrows and stuff and whatever. Yeah. Then eventually. Oh, good old Xavier just coming in and shooting an arrow and then get, getting Wednesday shot because it's just like turn. And then just Wednesday's like, fuck off, dude, and just run away. Yeah. I mean, I think it's barely even covered the other backstory because the, the random backstory of Wednesday trying to solve the the conspiracy of Jerry. Don't Gates get us wrong, by the way. We do like the show. <laughs> we just there's a lot of plot. It's just the plot. <laughs> I don't understand the ending. <laughs> it just yeah. it's such a it, such it, a disappointing well, I, I, ending. I feel like it it was building up and then they couldn't really come up with anything decent, so they were just like, "Well, people are already invested. Why not?" I do. I also Edenid's wolf transformation gets no explanation she just somehow manages to do it i guess stress well it, it, that was during a blood moon and at yeah, some but point she said that she no but she, she she hadn't done it yet but at some point she I would be able to Nad, do it yeah i always knew she was gonna wolf out and they were gonna have a fight i did oh, yeah, i fight. knew that i knew those two were gonna fight i always yeah. knew it was gonna happen and i think that's I like the she, reason I think why she the hype won. she won though she did yeah yeah and it was pretty was like cool um her transformation still had like her pink hair and like Colored nails as well. Yeah, I think the wolf design was pretty sick. It's just the hide. Yeah, the hide bit buggy, <laughs> bit buggy eyes, too big of buggy eyes. I get you're trying to do like a Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so it's like situation because I imagine that's what it is. But yeah, also I, I, there's too many like plot conveniences in this because it's just like oh this thing, then this oh this guy is just magically has the ability to see visions and draw them. Yeah. And then the visions come to life or like his paintings come to life, which I was really expecting him to just have all of his paintings come out and fight like See how cool would that be? That would yeah, be that would have been so sick. cool. But like it does it does nothing. And if you actually just... had Xavier as the Hyde, who can still control paintings and was being controlled, you could have an army. Or of yeah, these but I, I, if if you would, it would have been more interesting if it was a like I get they shoehorned it in too much that they couldn't make it Xavier. But if they hadn't made Xavier so obvious the Hyde that it wasn't going to be him, they could have had it so that the Hyde wasn't real; it was a painting. That's what I was. That's, that's what I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, it's be yeah, a painting. That's, yeah. I feel like that reveal would have been better, and then. Also, there's a weird torture scene with Tyler, which makes... Yeah, so I, I think it was Christina Ricci released the hide by torturing Tyler. Because she found out Tyler was a hide. Yeah, so which the, is the why you have the not, thing in the cave. Yeah, the, the hide's not naturally like that. You have to force them to... You have to make them become a hide, and then they imprint on the person so that they have a master, basically. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird. <laughs> Convenience. I, ge- I guess if the dad was a bit meaner and a bit nicer or something the dad would be the one that it imprinted on and he would have been the master and then when he told him not to hang out with wednesday he wouldn't have hung out with wednesday i think okay going back to my theory now just thinking about it maybe his father knew tyler was a hide but he was just trying to make it so he never became a hide maybe yeah if he told them to avoid the things yeah because he said avoid the school avoid like these situations I Tyler was about. a bully to Xavier, which I'm glad, because Xavier needs to be bullied. <laughs> he should be bullied. <laughs> also, his weird love plot with Bianca was weird. Well, I think they used, they used to date, but then yeah, they couldn't trust Yeah, but it was her. just kind of... And then some... Yeah, also... I, get, I, get, I get all of that, but it was just so weird that it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to keep talking to you in front of my new love interest that I really want to bone. And, and then I I'm cannot gonna... believe what he said to Bianca said, I want you to use your siren song to make me forget about her. Yeah, you want me to make you forget about your new love interest, even though you've told me specifically that you can't make me... Yeah, I get that that's kind of resolved, because they do have like a little bit of dialogue. Also, the mum plot goes nowhere. That's going to be season two, because season two has been confirmed. It is going ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. This is like nearly better, th- bigger than Stranger Things. It is. Okay. This is the most popular thing on Netflix ever. So. Uh, it's it's approaching. I don't think it's overtaken it yet. Because I think... Well, it in... was the first week, but... Yeah, uh, yeah. but I think in I think it's going to beat Stranger Things' record because of, like, four, for a month. Because right, I think yeah. for four weeks, uh, like, uh, 1.4 million hours of watch time or something like that. Or I don't know, remember what the statistic is. And then... Um, Wednesday's like 700,000. Maybe it's a billion hours of watch time? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the, the global top 10 is uh, Wednesday top number one. Yeah. That's had two, two weeks in um, top 10. I've both been number one. And then uh, um, 1899 as well. That That's another show I want to watch. Yeah. Supposedly that's meant to be very good. Right. Watch time. What's Manifest, right. by the way? No idea. 
<laughs> it seems to be like it's been in the top ten for twenty two weeks. Uh, yeah. So Wednesday has clocked three hundred and forty one point two million hours viewed in its debut week, and Stranger Things season four previous record of three hundred and thirty thirty five point oh one million was set during last week on May. So it's potentially beaten that. Mm, yeah. So it will it will beat that probably. Yeah, likely. Uh, what was your? F- uh, also, I I don't know why, but I don't like the titling of everything having "woe" in it. It's a bit of a strange one. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm not a fan of it. It, it it's, it's fine. It's a stretch at most. Yeah, it's it's fine, but it's just a bit of a weird thing to do in it. Murder of woes is just I don't know what that's meant to be. Like a murder of crows because <laughs> like a a bunch of crows is called a murder. Maybe yeah, yeah. I don't know. If you don't woe me by now, I get that one. It's if you don't know me by now, because it's the reveal of Tyler being the hive. Quid pro pro woe, I guess. You reap what you woe. Woe what a night. It's a Christmas song, isn't it? Uh, no. Oh it's what like, a night. No, it's oh what a get. Like, oh what a night. It's um. Oh, who sung that? Um, the Four Seasons, I think it is. Who knows? Woe is the loneliest number. I'm sure it's sense. it's the Four Seasons. Funky Valley and Four Seasons. Wednesday's child is full of woe. I'm guessing that's just meant to be like straight up is woe. Yeah, but I yeah. don't. Or maybe I don't know. <laughs> also, I didn't realize that Wednesday's done more views this week, like beat last week. Yeah, because people are being told that it's good. It's nearly a billion so- views. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's it's gonna be Stranger Things is 1.4 billion hours in like four months in two weeks or whatever it is yeah that is incredible yeah because a lot of people are watching it because it's i guess the only thing that's out that people are like this is pretty decent and everyone's really likes jenna ortega because she's been in so much shit this year she has and she seems to be like the number one horror actress now yeah she's like the next big thing it's the eyes well, it... it's the, uh, the the acting she does in here is all through the eyes mm. like She's, she's fantastic. She's also and... attractive, so... Yeah, that is like... true as well. It's like Tom Holland. Like, attractive person who can act. And young, yeah. Like, yeah, and young. So, it appeals to everyone. Pedophiles, uh, <laughs> teenagers... <laughs> Alright, yeah, to- talking about more about... Positive of... things. Let's go positive. Well, I, I want to talk you... about the humour. The, the very dry okay. humour of Wednesday Hit and miss. I love the humour in this. I like her stuff. Oh, yeah, Other her, yeah, yeah. On behalf, yeah. doesn't work for me. No, I, I, I love... find the humor with the parents irritating. But I, I, I get love... it is meant to be irritating. It is. I, I love the way Jenna Ortega delivers her lines. The, the dry humor, that sort of Pantone yeah. voice. Yeah, I think it's, very, it works very... brilliant. Yeah. It's very British humor. It's just not even British. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I, 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 do, I, do, I did find bits and pieces. I never laughed out loud. I don't no, think any of it was like, like, one of those, like. It's just, I guess, it's well not written. meant to. It, because. I think when you laugh out loud, it can take things away from well, the story. Well, it's the Marvel sometimes. effect. <laughs> yeah. They have to put in a, like, 10-second gap after someone gets introduced because of all the cheering or laughing, so they don't want you to miss dialogue. Yeah, so I'd rather... So you can tell you can tell when Marvel does a joke or, like, a setup for a character or whatever, because if you actually look at, like, afterwards, it's, like, maybe two to three seconds just so everyone's kind of stopped laughing or uh, cheering or, like, celebrating... So that you can kind of go, now we can start talking again. <laughs> yeah. It's very obvious in Doctor Strange when they're introducing the Illuminati. So, like, see, so I just talk about that. I much, I much prefer this comedy. Even though oh, I'm not yeah, laughing yeah. out loud, this is way better for me. She has pitch perfect, like, timing. Um, yeah, she's just very good. I like I like her. I also like Enid. Enid's, like, humor was good. Yeah. What would you like to see in the season? What would you like to see in the season two? I don't know. That's not a good guy. Just take well, I don't, it. because I don't know anything about this world, so I don't know any characters that Wait, can Wait, just talk about or... what characters you want to see, what plot points you want to develop. This ends in a cliffhanger. Okay, you I can want... See... Well, yeah, because Tyler breaks loose, but what's her face is... No, Tyler doesn't break loose. Well, yeah, because he, he hides out in the van. No, no, he just changes, but he's still, he's still chained up. Yeah, but he could break out. He could break out. He's not. He's, he's still captured. You don't think he's going to break out of that? He's a, like... uh, I think he's. you're probably going to visit him, him him in jail at some point, and he may break out after jail. Uh, if Christina Ritchie is still alive, she didn't get stung to death by bees, Um, then I imagine she'll be in like a maximum security prison and... Wednesday will somehow just be able to visit her. Um, 
Like she's just able to go in and visit people. <laughs> like I guess she's breaking in because things safe cracking or picking locks or stuff. That was really funny to me though. Um, when Xavier's uh like locked in the car and then thing just cr like slides down the windscreen and he's just like yes yeah <laughs> yeah and I'm just like fuck sake, dude. <laughs> That's so sad. It's just like I was really just hoping Xavier was just locked in the car for the whole thing. <laughs> Because he doesn't do anything. He comes in, shoots an arrow, and then fucks off again. Like, if he came in with a whole bunch of paintings, that would have been cool. But, like, he just does nothing. Ah, I've, I've got a graph for you. about. Okay. On, uh, I love a graph. We do love a graph here about the Netflix uh, most popular things. Is it Red Notice at number one for movies? Well, it goes on by, I think this is days or weeks or something. Um yeah, so this is shows sort of the most formless popular things on Netflix, which is Wednesday, Squid Game, Stranger Things Season 4, and Dharma. I have watched one of those. <laughs> Guess which one we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, initially, uh, Stranger Things was the most popular, but then it overtaken by Wednesday. And at this point, Wednesday's clear mm -hmm. of everything else. I think it depends... It's, oh, it's already clear of Stranger Things entirely and Dharma entirely, but Fair it's... Enough. Not clear Squid Game yet. Well, Squid Game was very, very popular. And never watched. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I, think was, I don't think Squid Game was that good. I think when's about the Squid Game. <laughs> don't have any commentary. Can't tell you anything because I haven't watched anything other than Wednesday. Because as we know, if you've listened to our podcasts before, I have not really watched most live action Netflix stuff whenever it gets super popular because I just don't give two shits. <laughs> what we have yeah. been told about season two is that we're going to see more of the Adams family. Yeah, I think the casting. I, I, uh, I. She's not... meant to be sixteen in this, so I imagine they'll have to age her up a bit, so she'll be like eighteen or something. Because well, I don't know. I think season two maybe just after season one finishes, so they end the semester, so they may go back. She may go back to yeah, Adams they're family. Them. They're hedging their bets that Jenna Ortega stays young looking. <laughs> She's twenty. She's she's gonna stay. I know. She while. yeah. She's Tom Hollanding it because Tom Holland was nineteen when he did Spider Man. And he was meant to be fifteen. So yeah. He, At least they're didn't... not doing like thirty year olds like they did in the past, where it was like thirty year olds doing um teenagers like every old Hollywood stuff. Yeah. So like, high I, school I, I students don't... played by like twenty five year olds. I don't think they're gonna have any problem with Jen Ortega aging. No. Quick. So. But I still think they'll probably age it a bit, like, a year later. I would actually like it to not keep Tim Burton for next season. Ooh, controversial. Maybe a bit controversial. I, I don't really notice any Tim Burton-isms, but then again, I don't really watch Tim Burton, so... His old stuff was good, his recent stuff's not been, apart from this. Mm. Uh, do, do you know what stuff he's done? I'm talking hey, about, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know what stuff you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, so the good stuff being, for those who Batman. don't know... <laughs> Batman... <laughs> <laughs> Sleep, well, arguably Sleepy Hollow it's not perfect but it's still probably better than most of recent stuff you've also got uh, Corpse Bride yep he didn't direct Nightmare Before Christmas no but he's a part of it though it's, it's aesthetically like Tim Burton yeah I'm sure he, he was part produced of it. I think he was a producer I think he produced yeah he produced it he didn't direct it though uh, no that's, that's true Sweeney Todd as well and um, Edward Scissorhands well, uh, and um, the what 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 well, the the shadows or whatever it is the dark Joey shadows Depp, yeah that dark shadows that that one. wasn't great <laughs> oh Beetlejuice as well that's not what I was thinking of yes yeah Beetlejuice yeah so pre like he's a know, horror two thousands so. he was he was yeah. pretty decent after two thousands <laughs> Alice in Wonderland <laughs> yeah Alice in Wonderland dark uh, shadows Frank and Frank and Weenie I've heard Miss that one's good Miss Pendergreen's house for children whatever they're called I've heard that's mixed. Yeah, sort of mixed. It's yeah, got Eva it's... Green in it, though, and I'm always a fan of Eva Green. Uh, yeah. So it's been nice for them to have a, a little bit of a something good come out recently. Bring in Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> but so I can get I... some actual horror creatures. Oh, trying He's to done with Pinocchio. Pinocchio as well. I like that one. I know yeah. everyone hates it. I actually like that one. I don't like the original Charlie of the Chocolate Factory. I don't like either of them. <laughs> I like the Johnny Depp one. I know I'm weird, but I do actually kind of enjoy that movie. It's amazing how many films Johnny Depp's in for Tim Burton. Well, yeah, and also his ex-wife, um, who's Bellatrix Lestrange in Harry Potter. Yeah. Helena Bottom McCartan. Also, people thought that uh, Tim Burton was trying to set her up with Johnny Depp for years whilst they were married. <laughs> because of how many movies they were in together. <laughs> but no, it's just Tim Burton. It's just directors like Christian Bale with um, uh, uh, 
Chris Nolan, Nolan, Christopher Nolan, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger for uh, James Cameron. If you just find an actor that you like, you're just going to put them in stuff. <laughs> so it's not... Who knows? But yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So it's Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton wrote the story. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah. I'm, tr- I'm still trying to think what I want from a season two. I want Enid to come back. Yeah, Dump the well, weird um, boyfriend with uh, Medusa hair. Yeah. Also, how did he not become... How did he become stone and then not stone? No, they they say it's only temporary. Right. Yeah. They do state... I, I was confused as well. I thought he was perma-stuck. And then I remembered, oh, no, they did clarify that it is temporary. Because they're, they're standing around or something. And then she's like, oh, at least it's only temporary, right? When it, when they're oh, in like, right, the, the yeah. antique store. Like, because it's like, oh, I don't want to turn people into stone. Ah, oh, but I'd be willingly let you turn me to stone because it's only temporary or something like that. <laughs> I do remember them saying that it is only temporary. Which also, why not just get him to walk in front, take off his thing and stand in Joseph Crackstone, make him stone. Yeah, there you go. Simple There's, as that. The, all of these characters have powers, but like Wednesday doesn't have powers except Psyche. Yes, also something you might not know, <laughs> but they changed that for this show. Wednesday never had powers in the original. In oh fact, yeah, I in think... the original Adams family, I don't think there was any supernatural at all. There wasn't vampires. No, 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 no. no. I, 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 I don't know. I imagine not, but yeah. But I'm Maybe glad they, should... I'm glad they changed it because that made it more interesting. Yeah. What's the Netflix? Well, what's the animated one? Because it oh, looks the, absolute yeah. garbage. The animated one looked absolute garbage. <laughs> Adams family 2019. There's two. Yeah, they, they, they made a... a sequel to it. <laughs> yeah, they did. There's two sequel. There's like a sequel to the Adam uh, animated. It's one. called the Adams Family Two. It has a 28 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. What's the first one got? Uh, let me look. Cause I, I, the second one came out in 2021. Because, like, that didn't appeal to me. Then the other one never appealed to me. This one's the only one that's appealed to me, like, in, like interest-wise. Uh, so, the first one was a 45% critics and 69% audience. Had a 5.8 on IMDb. Yeah. Um, the, the original films were actually pretty decent. I'm sure they are. Maybe we'll do a commentary on them one day. Uh, maybe, yeah. Like they're not. I mean, they came out in 1993, but not that bad. Mm. They're, they're all right. I just had, I've never had an interest. Maybe I'll go back. See how good villain of the week. Yeah, my only issue no, with the, the Wednesday. Films, I, I don't find out values and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. Ultimately, this was a decent show. Um, not the best thing I've watched this year. No, no, absolutely not. But but it was just a fun thing. It didn't grip me enough for me to just binge it all in one day, which I was gonna do. See, it did for me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, I had to watch it over two days because I was just like, eh, I'll stop at four episodes and then watch four episodes next week, uh, not the next day. Just because I, I was just like, eh. I found myself most hooked at the beginning and then I got kind of less hooked as it went on the plot because I was like, yeah. Also, I'm not a fan of like, it gets resolved in the first like the episode that the, the problem gets resolved in the episode that it happens in because the dad goes comes in gets ar- like arrested and then in the like the next thing it's like oh no he's out i'm like oh it just like ends yeah i do be like good the if... intros but that's what i mean i think this show could be better if it wasn't tim burton maybe i think he's got an eye for castings but i and maybe directing but and, and his style but i don't think that's the story plot doesn't work who wrote this show? I think it. I don't, uh, did Tim Burton do it? I don't let you know. Uh, editors, distributor, executive producers. Hmm. Who knows? Trying to find it. Uh, it was created by Alfred Gore and Miles Miller, apparently. Charles Adams, Miles Miller, and Alfred Gore. Yeah. Okay. So well, they're 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 at fault. <laughs> yeah, they're at fault. Yeah. Fire them. Get better writers. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Keep, keep General Ortega. Um. Yeah. I guess for us. For season two, I guess I don't know. I guess if it's set in their hometown again. Um, also, I'm sad that uh, we didn't get to see all of the people get dismembered by uh, piranhas. Yeah, it, j- it just lost one testicle. Yeah, which I was like, that's not good. That's that's them just PG thirteening it. Yeah, which just, is... <laughs> just show us full bloodied murder. <laughs> Yeah, and that's like one of the first jokes we got from Wednesday as well. When she was like, her mother was like, "Oh, how to look if you got attempted murder on your record?" She said, "Oh, terrible. Everyone know I failed." Yeah, that's good. I enjoyed it. It's so good. Also, I forget how tall Gwendolyn Christie is. Yeah, because I was like, "Oh, they're doing Hobbit perspective things," and I'm sure they are, but like, she towers over like every single person. (laughs) She does. 
She does. And I'm just like, because she's like 6'3 or something. She's 1.91 meters. So I don't know what that is. And six point, yeah, six foot three. Yeah. And how tall is Jenna Ortega? She's quite short, I'm pretty sure. 1.55 1. 5, 5, 5 meters. Yeah, 1.55. Five, five. Five, yeah, 5 foot 1. She's, she's small. <laughs> Which is why she fits so, the role. <laughs> That's like a child. Yeah, wait. Age 20 years old. Oh, 27 for September. I, I was confused because it said 27. Um... But that's September 2002. That's like 2027. What? Yeah, she's, yeah. she's too young for you. She's, she's too young for you. It's four years different. <laughs> it's two years. Oh, she's too young for you. <laughs> okay. If I ever meet her, I won't ask her out. You happy? <laughs> yeah. There are people like, I'm not Leonardo DiCaprio here. <laughs> dating half my age. It's four <laughs> years difference. Now you got to remember. You just you know, want in because you're two years difference or three years difference. I'm just saying two years is much more acceptable. No, women like older men. <laughs> you're <Yeah>. fucked. <laughs> to be fair, I, I, my data profiles are, are not looking good at the minute. It's it quite, just, 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 <laughs> quite depressing. Well, I'm glad we had that little bit of insight before we end the show, Dan. So. <laughs> well, okay, do you want a bit more insight about it? I've run out of women on Bumble in my area. Nice. Congratulations. They yeah, refresh pretty... it and put them all back in the slot. No, it literally just says you have to change your filters. Like, there's no one left. Yeah, it will update that and start reslotting people you've swiped left on. Eventually. <laughs> I don't know that from experience. <laughs> uh, wow, she's got 25.1 million followers on Instagram. She's a popular person. Anyway, I think that covers... Uh, Maybe covers I should our... start dating her and then she can help me launch my Twitch career. <laughs> <laughs> I think... You need to start webcam. You use a webcam on your Twitch channel. What webcamming? Oh, I don't know if I'm that comfortable with my sexuality. What? You don't know what webcamming is, Dan, do you? <laughs> I think I, I'd sort of do. But <laughs> what do you think it is? What? I, it, it sounds like um, almost like an OnlyFans thing. Uh huh. Is, is that right? Yeah, it's women diddling themselves on camera or men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. also, fun fact. Uh, Jenna Ortega is in Iron Man 3, and I was like, who the fuck is she in Iron Man 3? <laughs> because, yeah, she'd crazy, be like, right? She'd be like, what, 10 years old in that? Uh, 10 or 11. Yeah, 10 or 11. But she plays either the president's daughter or the vice president's daughter. Oh, really? Yeah. Apparently, She's the... <laughs> yeah, and I saw like news outlets saying, oh, they won't recast her because of this casting before, and I was like, I swear Marvel's recast people before anyway. Like a Chris Evans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I was just like, because I'd never seen her or anything, and I just I just don't know why, but my brain went, why does she look familiar? And then it's because she's in Iron Man 3, and my brain just went, oh yeah, I remember her. Also, I really want to watch X, which has her in it. Yep. But yeah, anyway, that has been our discussion of Wednesday, because Dan hasn't watched Black Panther yet, and Avatar 2 isn't out. And so. I, I, I might be able to watch Black Panther this week. We'll do uh, a double bonus for Black Panther and Avatar 2. Well, I've had COVID for a week, in my, in my defense. I can't have to go to the house, really. What about the weeks before? I was it came out before. in November. Okay, no, so I've been busy for three weeks in a row. I've not been able to... No one cares, Dan. We're ending. <laughs> People demand content, Dan. They don't care why you can't do things. I can't do it. I just cannot do it, Captain. Fare you well, travellers of the Bye-bye. internet. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you next week for something Avatar, maybe, or um, Black Panther, or uh, other stuff. I know, but I can keep going. And no one will know why I'm still going, or what the conversation is. But it all gets left in. Yes, I do think children are shit. Anyway, goodbye.